Hey everyone, it's Lisa, and I have quite an assortment of things that I wanted to show today. And if anybody follows my channel and has seen a couple um, videos, you know that I do collect uh, crystals. So I have purchased uh, two for myself, got another one as a bonus, and got a lovely one as a sweet gift from someone. So let me start off with the gift. And this came from my very good and dear friend, Diane. And this is Lapis Lazuli, which is actually, it's a purplish blue stone, and it actually has uh, veins of pyrite running through it. And this is in fact, a small carved statue of Sekhmet, who is the lioness goddess in Egyptian mythology. And I, absolutely love love her so I can't thank Diane enough for this because she's beautiful and she sent me a gorgeous card with it so that was very thoughtful and very kind of her um let's move to this I have been waiting for this to come which you'll see I held off holding or showing something that's a little bit bigger than this but most of us know what um pyrite is that it's called fool's gold but again uh, with Egyptian um, connotations to it this is a pyrite sphere and I've been waiting for this to come it's taken a lot longer in the mail because obviously we know the mail situation so this actually came and I was so happy to get that and as a bonus, the lady that I ordered from um, also sent this bloodstone, and it's it's called a tower because of the way it's carved, but it is absolutely gorgeous, a really beautiful specimen. So I've got that. And then the big, big one, <sighs> there it is. <laughs> this is called a hematoid quartz, and it's absolutely beautiful. There's different ways you turn it. Um, it's got like a little bit of a rainbow flash, kind of like Labradorite does, but it is a gorgeous, gorgeous crystal. And I have, I don't have a huge crystal collection, but I have, I've got a, a decent assortment of crystals. And this was one that caught my eye and it's just beautiful. And it also came with this stand uh, for for no cost so that was really lovely this weighs over 11 pounds so to date this is no i take it back i have a smoky quartz that is oh between 13 and 14 pounds so this is my second largest we'll put it that way okay continuing on with gifts um i received a package from my dear friend Lucia, who lives in the Czech Republic, and she and I did a journal swap a while back. I showed hers on my channel as well. Um, anyway, she sent me this really awesome um, quill black feather pen. I thought it was just gorgeous. I think one, two, three, four, five, six. There's six quills with it to write with which I have never done calligraphy writing before, but I am definitely going to practice. So that was unexpected. Um, Lucia also makes journals. So she sent me a couple of napkins for decoupaging and she does gorgeous wax seals. So she sent me a wax seal that she did here and another one, a very pretty card. Um, she made a bookmark. There's some black lace. Now, mind you, this all came from the Czech Republic, which I've said before, that's where my great-grandmother was from. So she and I, have, she's been able to help me um, enunciate my Czech uh, accent pretty well, although she said my grandmother did a very good job of teaching it to me. So... That, that made me feel good. My uh, pronunciation wasn't off that badly. But she made this cool envelope. And I want to show you, when you open it up, 
let me do it like this. It literally pops up and then this slides open to Is that not cool? She is just brilliant, just brilliant. So a big thank you to her. Um, let me put this to the side and now we'll get into crafting haul. Um, these are purchases that I've made online. Um, and I just wanted to share what I purchased. This first one is 49 and market. If you have never, um, used anything from 49 and market, they have beautiful paper. It's thick. It's very thick cardstock, but it's all double sided and it is beautiful. And the detailing, that is one page there, that big frame, but it is gorgeous. And this one is called Irrevo Irrevocable Beauty. So there's that. And then I plan sometime soon to do an Oriental um, journal. This is Stamperia, Oriental Garden Scrapbooking and beautiful images. I have some lovely fabric that I'm gonna use for the cover for this one. And I have some really pretty papers too. Um, but these are absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous papers. Um, and then that order came from someone on Etsy who I've ordered from before and she included some extra sheets of textured um, paper to go with that. So that was much appreciated. Okay, again, uh, this is 49 in market and I have used one pack in my lilac and lace journal that I'm finishing currently. So look for a video on that very soon. But this is called Lilac Mini Collection 12 by 12. It's got four double-sided papers, two laser cut sheets of coordinating elements. So if you can look at the detail and the coloring on that, it is fabulous, absolutely beautiful. And the details are wonderful. Then this just came today, so that's why I'm finally getting this video done. I ordered two Craft Consortium um, paper pad collections from Joanne, and that just came today by FedEx um, because that's how they ship. It wasn't me requesting something special, but these were half price. And if you know about Craft Consortium, the quality, wow, just beautiful. So what they do is they give you, they're all double-sided sheets, um, they're acid-free, and they're premium papers. So this one is called Tell the Bees, and I plan on doing a bee journal um, this summer. Sorry about the little bit of shadow there. Beautiful papers. These would go well too, if you wanted to integrate like Edith Holden somehow with this, I think. Um, depending on which pages you chose, but beautiful papers and very nice thickness. Just really, really lovely papers. And then because this is the premium collection, they give you a flip out that's like this. So you can use this, but you get a bunch of fabulous uh, cutouts on here um, to using your journals. So there was that one. And then the other craft consortium I got uh, is called At Home in the Wildflowers. This is not the premium collection, so there is not a flip out page. So it is just the double sided paper. You do get a back sheet though, but you don't have the double flip out in the front, which I don't think is any big deal. You know, both of these are the same price off of Joanne at half price. Um, and trust me, these paper pads are of such good quality that they go for like 40 some dollars a pad. Um, and I got them again, like I said, half price because I'm not gonna pay that much for paper, um, but very pretty papers. This one would also look really nice with Edith Holden, I'm thinking, because it's kind of got that vintage sort of feel to it. And then you've got that page of cutouts, so. And the last thing, last but not least, and excuse my nails, sorry, I'm like at the final stages and gluing and doing stuff to the cover and half my polish is coming off. But this is some uh, rice paper by Dress My Craft. 
which is really nice for tearing apart and um, kind of collaging over some of your sheets. Sorry about the glare. I really don't want to take it out of the package because it's so thin it's hard to get back in, but it is beautiful. So that is it for me, guys. Um, until I have the Lilac Journal finished, um, that's when I will see you next. Oh, I take that back. I have the giveaway to do to announce the international giveaway winner on Friday at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So please look for that. And then I will see you when I'm done with the Lilac Journal. So everyone take care. Have a great day. Bye.